All right, what's up, guys? Listen, I have a quick one for you here. Capcom is officially in their BuzzFeed era, releasing the Street Fighter 6 fighter and control type personality quiz. And, you know, people love this stuff. It's fluff. I'm going to go ahead and try it out here. Uh, they just posted this, this to Twitter. It caught my eye. And I got to tell you up front, if they tell me that I am anything related to Honda or I should be using modern controls, I'm going to be a little bit offended. So I'm going to take any result besides those two as being A-OK -okay with me. That said, the characters I'm, I'm eyeing right now are Jamie, JP, and Marissa. So any of those three, that's goals. The rest of it, you know, we'll see where we, we fall here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the quiz. All right, Fighter X Modern Classic Dynamic. If they tell me dynamic, I, I need to put down the sticks for good. Take this quiz and find out which fighter from Street Fighter 6 best suits you, whether you're fighting a rookie, a casual enjoyer, or a veteran player who already has a favorite character set in mind. Try this quiz out. You might be surprised with the results. Okay, the fight started. The moves you make now can make or break the flow going forward. What do you do? A, keep my distance and see what my opponent does. Use pokes to close the gap between me and my opponent. Uh, B, B. If you do A, you either play Guile or, you know what, you're kind of relying on your opponent making stake, mistakes. That's something that I call out a lot is people who back up and back themselves into a corner and then they hope to scramble or make a lucky jump out of the corner and reset positioning and run away again. That's not a really good way to play it because you're relying essentially on your opponent having poor corner control and the corner is very, very dangerous in all Street Fighter games. So I, I think that's not a great way to play. You will plateau in terms of your results, so B. All right, fights can go a number of different ways. For every quick win, there's a tight spot from which you have to claw your way out. What's your ideal approach to a fight? Playing things safe from start to finish and maintaining as much of a lead as I can. Uh, B, B, dealing big damage even if I have to put myself in some dicey situations. I generally play things safe from start to finish, but there comes a time when you have to take risk. You have to take risk. Sorry, if you're uh, wondering what that noise is, uh, Jojo is in the background here wondering what the hell I'm doing with my life, and I agree with him. Anyways, generally A, I'll, but I'll go for the command grab. Ideal approach is A, though. Ideal. If, for, if from start to finish I can win playing safe, I'll do that. Your opponent is calm, cool, collected. It's supposed to be cool, calm, collected, and that's actually <laughs> one of the phrases I drop a lot, and efficient in their movement. You have to gain the upper hand somehow. What do you do? Wait for my opponent to miss a poke and punish them accordingly. Use a powerful move that barely leaves me open and strike them hard. It depends. If I have a move to skip neutral, like an EX dash straight for Balrog in Street Fighter V or something like that, I'll definitely use a B. I like B when I have it. A is a means to an end. If I have B and I can just do something to get in, I'm going to do B. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with B. A would be if I need to. B, if, I, if you got it, you use it. B. You're up against your rival. You've trained for this. But then again, so have they. Which of these playstyles helps you gain a psychological advantage? A. Take a more imposing stance and punish their jumping attacks with high-reaching anti-airs. Okay. B. Surprise them with intimidating jump-ins and rush-on attacks to get in close and pull off a win right away. Uh, I don't think jumping in is generally that good. I'll do it if I'm feeling desperate. I think at the level of play that I generally play out for both people, jumping uh, traditionally hasn't been that great. Um, a surprise jump in definitely does have the bigger psychological advantage. Like if you get hit by a surprising jump in in a tense close set, that is very psychologically damaging. And I think getting anti-aired is just par for the course. You expect to get anti-aired and then you don't expect your jump ins to land. If your jump ins do land, you know, you took a big gamble and it paid off. Ooh, this is a tough one. Generally, I will go with A. Generally, I will be trying to control and earn the advantage by positioning in the corner by controlling the nooch as long as possible. The back and forth in battle is everything. Repeating the same basic actions over and over again will get you punished. You gotta mix things up. Which of these approaches to balancing offense and defense is more your style? A, show no weakness. A good defense is the best offense. B, staying on the offensive keeps you control. A good offense is the best defense. Once again, I think it depends on the situation. Both of these answers could be right depending on the circumstances in the matchup, but I feel like B is closer to where I would lean. What I think good offense though is control. Uh, keeping control of the situation, keeping control of the, uh, of the corner, for example, which could be interpreted as defense, but you need to turn your defense into offensive pressure. Even if that pressure is just 
asserting yourself in a position, even not pressing an attack. Just holding a position on screen is offensive, in my opinion, depending on the position, right? If you're holding someone in the corner, even without doing anything, to me, that's an exerting an offensive aura that causes your opponent to crack. So I'm going to go with B here. Ken! Ken! <laughs> Oh, I didn't see that one coming. Do I have to play a Shoto in Street Fighter 6? This quiz is rigged. These questions are too ambiguous. It's too black and white here. There's some gray in the middle, and I don't think this was uh, hit in that spot. All right, control type of quiz. You better not give me dynamic. The heart of any fighting game is, well, the fighting. Everyone wants different things from a match, but which of these is what you want? I want one thing and one thing only, to win. I want me and my opponent to get to know one, one another through battle. See, I want B, but also I want them to know that I'm better with than them when I win. I want them to know that I'm better than them. I don't want them to just be like, oh, he got lucky and won. I want them to know to the core of their very being that they got outplayed. So this is tough. So I'll, I'll go with B with this one. I have a, a goal in mind with what I want them to think about me, but I want them to get to know me and I want to get to know them and know all the ways that I'm better than them, all right? That's what it's all about. There's more to a fight than just winning. It's two people engaging in a conversation with their fists. How do you approach a fight? I want to practice my combos in advance and surprise my opponent. I just want to have fun and enjoy the match. Hell no, I definitely want to practice in advance and beat your ass with the most optimal sauce I can cook up. What? The fighter in control type which fits you best is Ken X Modern. Modern because I want them to know me and because I want to practice my combos, what practicing is there with modern? Don't you just tap the button? Oh no. Recommended fighter, you're geared for more aggressive gameplay with a focus on anti-air, so Ken is right for you. His quick dash rushes uh, the, down the opponent and his shoryuken keeps the air free of attacks and is great in combos. Open up more defensive opponents with the new Jinrai kick. I mean, that's not a bad recommendation to be quite honest. Ken does look pretty cool in Street Fighter 6. I just, uh, I have an aversion to Shoto's. I don't know what it is. I generally don't want to play them. I played Evil Ryu because he had crazy combos in Street Fighter 4. But for the most part, Shoto's, they don't really appeal to me. But Ken does appeal to me a little bit more. Recommended control type. You have a fighting spirit that burns inside of you, but ultimately you just want to have fun. So the modern control scheme is best for you. Special moves are pulled off with just one button, one direction, helping you unleash more moves faster and get those anti-airs for more high level play. Yeah, that's where you got me wrong. I have zero interest in modern. I want the full control of my character. I want full access to his complete moveset. I want to spend hours in training mode, completely optimizing my approaches and my tools and the matchups and the Oki and the conversions and all that. Yeah, got me lost in the modern. It could be worse though. It could be Honda X Dynamic. That would be the lowest of the low, but no, I'm not I'm not playing modern. If I'm forced to play modern by some chance where modern is just so broken, one button DPs and one button supers are just so broken that I'm required to go there, I will be sad. I'll do it. As a competitive player, I'll do it, but I won't be happy about it. Uh, for me, it's classic all the way. Classic all the way. Well, I, I'm now thinking twice about sharing this uh, this post, but uh, shout out to Capcom. Definitely in their BuzzFeed er era. I think for newer players, this might actually be both fun and insightful <laughs> to give them an idea of what they may or may want, not want to choose in a character and control scheme. Um, I think they're really trying to spread the awareness of the avail availability of these different control schemes. They're really pushing modern, really pushing it. Um, hoping that new players don't get intimidated by the fact that, you know, doing special moves and stuff can be a little tr tricky and unintuitive for newer players. So I can respect that, but uh, for me, classic all the way. All right, uh, let me know in the comments if you took this quiz, what you got, if you're happy or displeased with the results, and have a good one. Peace.